and submit event. This event occurs when the submit button in a form is clicked. The syntax is simple and straightforward. It's on submit equals and then your function name in quotes. Here's an example. This event is often a good time to validate form fields. In this example, we are calling a function called check form, but we are returning a value from our function. The function should return a code that indicates whether or not any errors were found. Let's look at an example from the W3Schools website. Here we are at the W3Schools website looking at their JavaScript tutorial and we're running their Try It editor looking at their example of the submit button. And I've highlighted on the left the opening form tag. And if you look at the very end, it says on submit equals quote greeting function end quote. So if we go up into the script, here is our function named greeting. And it's an alert. It says welcome and then it's taking a value from our web page form, FRM1, which is the name of our form, and it's taking the value F name. It's printing that value of F name, which is whatever we keyed in, and then adding some text to the end of that. Now, F name is defined right here. We're saying Input type equals text, name equals F name, and whatever we type in becomes the value of F name. And then just below that, just before our end form tag, we have input type equals submit, value equals in quotes submit, and that will be the lettering on our submit button. We could put anything we want as the value and that would display on our button. Let's try it. Let's change it to click here. Okay, now if we go back up to the top, the neat thing about the Try It Editor is that it allows us to change and then run. Notice our button now says click here. I'm going to type in the name Tommy and click here and there's our alert box and it says welcome Tommy thanks for dropping in. What did we learn today? The on submit event is an opportunity to acknowledge, alter, and validate data. And it's often the last one you'll ever get. I'm Mark Winnegar, and I believe podcasts are a great way to learn and teach. Let's get your faculty and staff on board. Contact me at mark.winnegar at mac.com.